Well, the long ball, nice. All Welcome right. Welcome back to Venus. Holy shit. Um, so the Giants mask, as you asked at the end of the last episode. Isn't we, it like right before the boss? Yep. It's like two rooms before the boss. ka -chow. Yeah, I think actually if you look up, you might be able to see it. Yeah. That's where you get it. All right. That's where we're headed. In the city of Venus. <laughs> Tanner just watched the backlog of TikToks that I've been sending him over the past, like, two weeks. <laughs> Including that robots one that I explained like a madman in the last episode. <laughs> It's actually pretty funny. Thank you. Uh, I thought so too. Am I? This is. This feels right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going in the right place, and we have that key, so we're golden. Hell yeah. Have you ever gotten this far without the key and then had to oh, go back? Oh, like, multiple times. You too. So this is a little tricky because you have to flip him and then jump onto the platform, but not get crushed by him and thrown off the thing. Right. Which I think actually you have succeeded. Maybe he's about to kill himself. Which? Oh, no man. No. He's like, no. I have stuff to live for. Like the city of bees. Cool. I made an explosion. <clears throat> now what? Of Dookie. Um, you pre by pressing that switch, you spawned a chest, and you just need a hook shot to that. Okay. You can see targeted if you want to be a cuck. Wow. <laughs> I love accusing you of doing things that make you... Wait, wait, wait. Before you go in the door. Oh. Penis. You're on the head right now. I don't know. You already shot that. The, f the platform beneath you. You're on the head. The shaft. The balls. You see it? Yeah. On the platform. Do I just go? Screw platform the chest. Penis. Yeah, it's just a fairy. And then once you kill this guy, you'll get the giant's mask. Oh! I sure as shit forgot about that. Yes. And remember, you're gonna want, like, as much magic as you can as humanly possible before the boss. Which uh, I think the next room will have some magic refills, but. You? Me. Oh. oh shit, nice. I've always I've always liked when that happens by accident. Just like uh, Future Seth, when you are editing, can you play that in slow motion, maybe do like a zoom and then play the like You raise me up song. Thank you. Alright. This is now a Christian YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Jesus. Um what? welcome to my Let's Play channel. Oh my gosh. Where we I think Jesus already has you to forgive oh the sinners. Oh yeah, he does. It's the, <laughs> the guy. It's, it's the guy who he's going up an elevator with a cross, and then it, it like, it's like you raise me up. That literal song that I just referenced, and then he accidentally stabs it into the ceiling. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You can tell me what. Holy shit. Um, you gotta like, oh. yeah. Venus. Um, I've made a grave. A stupid mistake. Hold on. Why did I put this on my inventory? At all. You'll need it too. Then you gotta go over the bikey. You should probably wait for it to like start moving towards you. Which you, I know you can't see, but. Or just oh, get hit again. Okay. Did you Maybe hear that? The did spot. you hear that? Um, Morbius two got greenlit. Oh god, for real? <laughs> yeah. That's. I'm I sorry. don't know if it's like a parody, like a satire article. I don't think it is though. Or like, oh, is this just people are mis like the production studio? Um, 
misunderstood fans' reaction to Morbius and now they're like big green lit a sequel. Morbius 2 coming out in 2025, I think. Alright, we got full magic, we got Gucci, and two fairies, one fairy. One, one fairy. And I think this is where you fought the Garo Master and got the light arrows. Yeah. Alright. Okie dokie. Do you want to maybe hit a restore point? Yeah. That okay, it's minus. Make sure you hit create restore point. <laughs> Okie dokie. Nice. Alright. Alright. Venus. Look at Link's like fucking T pose, swan dive. <laughs> That's goals, just like T pose into the swimming pool. That isn't on my bucket list of this. Just jump off a diving platform and T pose. Probably wouldn't hurt that bad. No. What's up on what's pain in the face of being Great being a meme, being a living meme? Okay. Alright, so this could take 30 seconds or 5 minutes, depending on your performance with the giant swing. No pressure. I don't honestly... Um, spin attacks are your friend. Like, I know you haven't really got down that technique. You just have to hit their heads and their tails. So you know the, the podcast that you introduced me to, that we yeah. all love Dungeons and Daddies? I'm yes. like almost done with the first arc. I kind of figured. Um, you know, 69 episodes, and all of which are like an hour and a half long. It's not, it's not a waste of time. Um, and one of my favorite moments was um, Henry Oak was talking about like some plan they were hatching, and he's like, it's like that movie that came out a couple of years ago where like the purple man like goes around and fights a bunch of like super people. He has to get the like colorful stones. And it's like what the fuck are you talking about? And then somebody realizes it and like it's like, oh yeah, and there was like a green guy that he fought and he's like, Yeah, 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 what was that called? Uh, X-Men I believe. <laughs> and then they're like, No, it's Avengers. No, I'm pretty sure it's X-Men actually. <laughs> This is one of my favorite little ones. Alright, so I've destroyed one. Yeah. And I think I've done a good uh, chunk of damage to the blue one. Yeah. Is this gonna give me magic or no? Hell no. How do I. So, worst case scenario, you. Actually, it might behoove you to destroy the pillars, honestly. Because I think they, that is how you get your magic back. Like, yeah. Fuck. Oh shit! Nice. That's what we call sweet, sweet. Great performance. Great success. Hold on. This is such a cool boss fight. I love this one. Say the same for George. What? <laughs> Remember, it took us like five attempts to kill. George. Oh yeah, George. What do I even? Oh yeah, just have to take the mask off. But probably not right there because you might spawn in. Okay. In the city, the city. The city of my little we'll just clench. <laughs> All right. Twin roll this. Good shit. Twin roll. <laughs> Now remember, remember that song you never use. Damn it, I don't remember. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> In the city, city of Venus. 
Well, we've uh, helped all of you. Uh, that's all we can do. Ah, uh, Jason. We might be upside down. Call us. That's what they're saying. Without being told, we understand. So now you'll help us out in exchange. We'll call you from atop the clock tower. So do something about him, alright? Cool. Oof, my war brain is not. <clears throat> what? Their voices sound sad. Holy butt. Ew, they're gross. Forgive our friend. Forgive your your fur fry fry friend friend. Forgive our friend. What do you mean by forgive? Uh what friend? Fucking Joe from middle school? Fuck that guy. I'll never forgive him. Hell yeah. It's the Garo, right? Uh, I don't remember who this is, honestly. I want to say, like... Oh, it's not a person at all. It's just a curse being lifted. Dang. Cool. Love that. Well, on this cycle, we didn't even do anything to help anybody. <laughs> Shit. No, we did. I think we, we're still... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Because we just immediately warped to Stone Tower Yeah, because you, you followed my rule of giving yourself a full three days for each temple. In the city. City of Venus. Cool. So there's... Well... There's like one thing left to do. Yeah. The, and, the cafe's quest. Mm -hmm. So at this point... Can just honestly just deposit our money and then do that quest in one last cycle. Yeah. If if you can't think of anything else to do. You even think I need to deposit my money for nothing? Oh, well, it just feels wasteful, you know. <laughs> sure. So we talked about this early on, and I think this is something we should do. I think for the last cycle, which will be this next one coming up, mm -hmm. I think we should do Cafe and Andrew's quest and also beat all four of the bosses before we take on Majora. Because you said that you like to kill all the bosses first, you know? and then like, so that way all the lands are saved before Majora, so that the canonical timeline they're all free of the boss remains, you know? I and I said that I usually just do Cafe and Andrew's quest at the end. Or at the last cycle, so that that's the canonical timeline where they get back together. And then I thought it would be a cool idea if we combine those two ideas for the last cycle of this playthrough. But I feel like you that have some like reservations against that. Let's just see the Andrew and Cafe quest. Yeah. I don't think so. I think we could like... There's, there's, there are large swaths of time where you just have to like wait. That yeah. I think we could pretty easily get those done, honestly. But you're, you're also the one in control, so... It's up to you. Okay, while you pee... Nope, I got pee. That's where I'm going with this. While you deposit your money, think about that proposition and reset time. I'm gonna pee. We'll meet you guys back in a minute or two. Yeah. First, okay, uh, we're back. So the first bit is open. The first thing we do is get Cafe's Mask, which we've already done. Cool. Which means... Wait. Not necessarily. Yeah, the next event is at 12 p.m. Cool. Here. Okay. I already slowed down the camera. The full time. Are you gonna try to kill a doll right now? Yeah. Okay. That too. I, I, I mean, okay. I think there are plenty of... Opportunities. Longer windows of time, but... I think, at least with a doll, you can probably kill him fast enough. Yeah. Ooh. Shit. Oh, no. Throwback to episode four. <laughs> well, that's why it's called Tanner's Adventures. Part two. I actually renamed it to Tanner's Adeku Scrub. <laughs> Jesus. Um, 
Also, I, that's one of my favorite thumbnails from this series because it's just the beetle like flinging you into the water. <laughs> Well, this is a nice trip down memory lane before this series ends. Alright. Oh, well, you have to play this one out, I don't know. Watch us, like, not have enough time because. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, the next thing at 12 is an optional event. Okay, the next required event is from 1.50 to 3.50 p.m. To the, on the first day. Oh gosh, I don't even remember. Up left, up left, A ready. What's the optional event? Is it something to do with the mailman? No, so after the required event, cafes are getting the cafe mask from Madame Aroma. Then there's an optional event where you can listen to her tell Gorman to fuck off, basically. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. Um, and then from 12 to 12.15, you can witness a conversation between Andrew and her grandmother. Um, where she refuses Andrew's cooking. And then at 12.10, an optional event occurs where... Um, no, sorry, at 2.10. Which actually, we, should pr we might want to go back there for that, just because it's like some good lore. Um, and that'll be within the time window of, okay, so that's what we're shooting for, being back at 12, at 2.10 p.m. Stop that in. Um, I guess we'll see that when we get there. Also. You still mm -hmm. have to say it all out. Very Joseph Joe Star. <laughs> How is she? Are you about to beat this guy's booty on the ground? I know. The sword's OP. Yeah. How do you like my nuts? He just yells his own name when he attacks. Speaking of which, I have a mega evolution wish. Whoa! I, I want nine tails to get a mega evolution. That'd like be regular cool. nine tails and make it fire psychic. Because it feels like like Ninetales can learn psychic moves in a lot of the games, and it just feels like Sickness. maybe it was intended to be a fire psychic type, but they didn't want it to be too OP or something, I don't know. And yeah, it has a regional form, and that's kind of what they're giving to Pokemon that don't have Mega Evolutions, you know? Yeah. But... See? I don't know. I love my tunes. World at peace. Yeah. Purple water becomes not so purple. Starmie water. would also be a cool mega evolution. Just add like a third star. Like a, a big one though. On his back. I don't know. Heal you. Okay. The, the swamp is freed. And it took us two seconds. Yeah, honestly we probably have enough time for another boss. Like... Since, right. since you did... 
take the liberty of slowing down time. <laughs> Alright, goat. Time to get... Uh, the easiest boss in the game. <laughs> I couldn't come up with a clever alternative to fuck. Snowhead. Oh. Tomorrow the episode of the Snowhead Fairy Incident is coming out. <laughs> God damn, it's great. It's actually not, like, from the, just the audio, like, I don't sound as upset as I actually got, but I, was, I do, like, be like, why would you not? I, I think I said something like, <laughs> you better go get the fairy before I beat your ass. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wouldn't say that unless I was actually angry. It was, it was better in memory than in audio format. Right, left. A, right, left, right, A. Damn. Because he can't, I remember he does like the, the first thing and then, oh! Did you see the snowball he shit out? Yeah. Out of Whoa. his, like, dick. Fuck. That felt weird. Like a kidney stone. Oh, oh shit. Jesus. See you in two seconds, okay, I guess. Did I? I mean, if you come back here after you say that he's alive. No, you don't. He's perma-dead. Whoa. Thank you for getting off here. I feel like for the rest of your life, you will always get that fairy because I yelled at you about it. <laughs> like, I just, I feel like that's just how your brain works. <laughs> wow. Good one, dipshit. Hey, you can get another fee. In case you die to go. To Georg, honestly. Yeah. Okay, okay. That, right. that doesn't hurt, that works. Probably would have been necessary pretty soon anyways. Oh god, I ran out of magic. I was like, why am I not cool anymore? Nice. And don't forget, you don't necessarily have to like fast roll up the hill. Which is something you tell me. Like you can just roll up to it normally without the magic. Yeah. Especially like that last part though is really what got me because I always like that's usually where I fuck it up. Or you could just be. Oh, <gasps> Kalabunga! I'm kind of okay. That was cool. It was pretty that cool. Was, that I was, was trying to stop my momentum. A fun thing to <gasps> hold. Fuck. He went head first. Face turn is. That's the way I like to eat booty. Wait, that actually makes sense. Oh. Where the fairy? Maybe it registered that I ate it. Yeah. Just going up the hill, so we mature. We pause the episode at a point. Yeah. I think after it goes, we call this episode. Yeah. Three boss fights in one video. Wow, the bonus special. Oh yeah, I have to let him go. If you hate me. Oh fuck. There's arrows. They they wouldn't do you dirty like that. Well cha 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 Who has disturbed my slumber? 
this Only little the green group. bitch. I am the one, the one who can all over your mom's back. Whoa. After I throw her back out. Oh, go, dude. <laughs> go, that's like way too that's much. That's my mom you're talking about, bro. That feels personal and not like in a cool way. <laughs> like, what are you trying to prove, man? Jeez. I get it, go, you fuck. Oh, fuck. I was so close to doing that smoothly. Very close to doing it suavamente. Suavamente. Besame. That unironically is in my fucking playlist. Yeah. I told you that I went to like a wedding a couple months ago, and one of the first songs they played was Suavamente. That's awesome. Obviously not the Game of North version. That's because... It's I know. I know. Just a voice to text. I know, <laughs> which is great. But also the regular song of too is great too. Yeah. Thank you, Elvis Crespo. Impressive. Well, yeah. For making it also good. But like wasn't wasn't he the problem? Elvis? Yeah, wasn't he probably like, I don't know that he just died on the toilet. That's not his entire <laughs> claim to fame, though. He was the first, like, mega pop star on that time. Basically. Yeah. Isn't there, like, a biopic of him coming out soon? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that'll be as engaging as all biopics are. Okay, listen. Consistently 24-7. There is only one good one, and I know okay. you're gonna say Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> yeah. So, shut the fuck up, because it was the only good one. Okay. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Thank you. When's the Elvis Crespo biopic coming <laughs> up? It's just called Solomon. <laughs> and the captions bit something. <laughs> but it's played by Elvis Crespo for some reason. Well, of course. Like, there's never a biopic where the person actually plays themselves. I think that's kind of like, yeah. The point, <laughs> I guess. Well, all the people they make biopics of are either dead or super old, so like. Yeah. And, oh, Justin Bieber. They did it. Fuck yeah. What the fuck? That was like one of the. Earlier, Wasn't that like earlier, a documentary? That's one of those earlier biopics. Is that not a biopic? I'm I never sure. I never watched Never Say Never. That's, yeah, dude, it's a fucking album. I never saw Never Say Never. I never watched it either, alright? But I happen to know, for some it, reason. It, like, instead of doing that, I was like, baby, 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 oh. Alright, that was weak. That was weak. That wasn't terrible. It, but it wasn't good to listen. In this, uh... Rough and tumble age. Uh, yeah, in this age of immense comedy and actually funny YouTube videos, like... I, I gotta bring my game in. If, if that's my game, we have no chance. We have had some genuinely good bits in our day, but that was not one of them. <laughs> you didn't like the one Justin one. Bieber baby baby baby? Oh, right. Okay, this this episode is called Our Worst Bit of All Time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it had a name very early on. Did it? Mm -hmm. If not, this episode is called Suavemente. <laughs> Suavemente and Elvis Crespo story. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. And oh. the epilogue oh, is shit. his studio suing Terminal Montage. Oh, jeez. I don't think they're actually suing. No, they just copyright claimed it. You're right, they didn't sue him. I wanted to be a drama queen. It was very non Suavemente. Damn. The last time we talked about Swagamonte this much was during another Zelda series. <laughs> you know, they say great art pieces. Our art exists. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's yeah. like time, it echoes.
I've heard several hot takes about George Lucas. Oh yeah. Um, but my favorite like one he's is a Dilf. Jeez, I, I guess well, that's I guess your hot take. Point, Gilf. Oh God, why'd you say Gilf? <laughs> <laughs> put George, put sexy George Lucas on the screen. Okay. I'm being if I'm being honest, this is probably gonna get cut closer than I thought it would. Uh, York is being a very, what the fuck, no not. Oh, oh. Goat is being kind of a bitch and it's already 11. Oh god, I didn't even think of that. We have to be back by 2.10. Okay, it's oh. fine, it's fine. Really. 2.10? Yeah. We're fine. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. You, you just, just, you just gotta, like, like, twice more. Just gotta, just gotta finish. You gotta close the deal, that's what I'm gonna close. Oh I'm not gonna hit by god. The electricity thing is killing me because it's Electromente. Close the down fight. Please kill this fucking goat before I stab myself in the dick. There cannot be that much thank out there. Thank you. Alright. Right. Thank you, next. The biopic of Ariana Grande. In 2070. <laughs> when she's dead. Yeah. I just think it's really cool that Taryn Egerton played. Elton John in his biopic after having worked with Elton John on a movie previously. Yeah. Kings. Two. Electric Kingsman Lou. Oh shit, we didn't do the frog quest. Yo, fuck the frog quest. Fuck. <laughs> shit sucks. Anyways. Join us next time for, for when Suavamente 2 comes out. Nice. Suavamente. Dos. Mm -hmm.